channel right goal for today is uh, get the engine in if I can uh, I've got a few bits to button up before that happens but I'll, I'll show you now what I want to do today obviously before the engine goes in it's Ted and Daisy right now I'll get the air conditioning compressor on I've got to fit the injectors although that can actually be done afterwards but I want to do it before but I've got to ream out the holes and I'll show you how to do that I've got a tool there to ream out the injector holes before the injectors go in because on the other engine they were blowing so uh, I need to especially on this this bank needs to be clean that side's not too bad but this side does need cleaning before the injectors go in but I'll show you that when I come to it um, my mate's gone off to get the tool to put the ring on the back of the um, for the for the crankshaft sensor um, engine mounts to go on a few bits and bobs so I'm hoping cross fingers that the engine will be going in today. Okay, this is where we're up to. This pipe is on, down at the turbo. Pressure sensor is connected. This pipe is on, just flapping about in the breeze. Um, air conditioning compressor is on, and all this lot is all buttoned up on this side. I wouldn't wish the air conditioning compressor on it, on my worst enemy, because that looks like a right ass to change with the engine in the car. I'm now on the quest for a missing bolt and it goes in here and it's a short thread which screws in this end and then it's got an overly long thread coming out here if anybody sees it drop a comment because uh, i'm struggling to find it at the minute okay, giving up looking for the bolt for now so i'm going to do the injectors and as you can see they've been blowing that one hasn't but those two have you can see all the carbon around them so i've got to ream out these holes and you can see all that crud and crap in there if the camera's going to focus, I'm sure you can see that anyway. And in that one, that one isn't too bad. Oh look, I can see my new piston in there. Right, so I've got to clean that carbon out of there. And the way you do it is with this tool here. And uh, basically it just takes a tiny slither of aluminium off and gives it a nice clean seat for the, for the injectors to seal. Okay. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to pick the right one to fit our injector. And you've got to make sure that you don't pick a tapered one and cut it into a flat seat because you'll be in a whole world of trouble. That's a tapered one. I'll get that to focus. There you go. That's for a tapered seat. You don't want to be using that in a flat seat because you'll, you'll end up putting a new head on it. So, and we've got this one which is for a flat seat, as you can see, it's not tapered. So in order to get the right one, slide this over the end of the injector. And as you can see, that is the right size for that injector. Now it could even be the other one if the hole is a slightly bit bigger. So this one here as well is for a flat seat. But as you can see, it's ever so slightly bigger. It's more than likely gonna be that one. So what we need to do now Put this on the end of here, and then tighten it up with the anarchy. You don't need to go nuts with this. That should be about it. That's on that. And then put the handle in. So I'll do the middle one first, as uh, that's the only one you can see. It's the closest I can get the tripod, so you can actually see down the injector ball. So slide that in there. And then cut the seat and pull it back out and let's have a look and as you can see it's already started cleaning up but then once we're done we just get an airline in there and just blow the swarf out it's only aluminium swarf so if a little bit goes in the cylinder it's not going to hurt it get my head in there a minute yeah that's not looking too bad so I'll get an airline in there now and blow that out and that should be nice and clean 
And there you go, you can see the seats now are all nice and clean. I've blown them out with the airline and they are now ready to take the uh, injectors. But new washers on the injectors. I've got to clean all that carbon stuff off the injector. Get that all nice and clean. New washers on. You know, they, they shouldn't blow now, they should be nice. So I've already done two, um, but I'll show you on, on the last one on this bank. So there you go, there's the injectors all cleaned up. The seat is all nice and clean. It's fine for you to clean around this area and around the seat, but do not go around the top. Because in there, there's uh, the holes in there where the diesel squirts out and the holes are microns in diameter. Um, it, on a brand new injector, it's all nice and clean. You might just be able to see the holes. They're that small. So you don't want to be going anywhere near the tip, but it's fine to clean around this area. So there we go. It's got all the carbon off. The seat is nice and clean. Now, you've got two ways you can do this. You can either stick the washer to the injector with a little bit of grease or you just drop it in the hole like that make sure it's sitting flat with a screwdriver like so and then drop the injector in Okay, that's that bank done. I'm just going to uh, put the spill pipes on, plug them in, and put the uh, high pressure pipes on. Wrong, isn't it? What is that one for? Is that a duplicate of one of them? Yes, that one. Right, okay. On the hunt for an injector pipe now, then. I guess the one with number one on it is probably the 1A. Eh? Okay, one bank done, on the other side. Uh, stormed ahead without you again, sorry about that. Uh, injectors, is on, injectors are in on this side with the injector cover is on. EGR pipes are on. On both sides, injector cover is on on that side. Um, I still haven't found that bolt, but then I haven't really looked. Um, I've now got the tool to put the uh, crankshaft sensor ring on so once it's off the stand I'll do that um, I've just got a couple of brackets to sort out the back here get them on um, and pretty much ready to come off the stand then and put the engine in the car okay the engine is ready to come off the stand 
sorted out this bracketry here. The engine loom is all bolted on. Um, there was a bracket in there I had to put on, which was a bit of a nightmare, and one over that side as well. Um, starter cable is on, engine mounting is on, but it's only loose because that's going to have to come back off to get the torque converter bolts in. Sorted that out, but I couldn't find the proper bolt, so I just put a bolt and a spacer in there, and that'll do that. Um, but yeah, we are ready now to take it off the stand and uh, put it on the hoist, and then I'll do that crank sensor ring then. Pick him up, Brantley. Get him off the ground and we slide the take the bar out. Pick him up a bit more, Grant. So this bit, this bit's off the ground. That's it. You let go of that now, you should, be, you should just sit there. Right, so I need a 17 and 13. 17 and 13. Right, so okay. okay, we are now... Obviously, as you can see, I've taken the drive plate off. We're now going to fit this magnetic ring onto there. Now, if you watch the Discovery 4 videos, you'll know that this ring can only go in one way round. And if you don't put it on right, the engine was not going to start. So you need this special tool to do it. Now, we've borrowed this from a Land Rover dealer. And some kind chap has borrowed it previously. And has killed the thread in there. Because they've probably done it up with an air gun. So that's nice of them. Let's see how we get on with it now. Okay. So this piece, that peg, has got to locate into that hole. Very snug fit. Uh, yeah, it's on. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you stick the stuff on it? Then? No, it just kind of all clipped together. Yeah. Mm. You need up well, I might put. Uh, yeah. Well, before the body goes on, I'll put a uh, cable tie on that side. Okay. That on it. Yeah, they've mullered that thread, didn't they? They've they've gunned that. The state of it. And there is a white mark being painted on this somewhere. There. And that has to line up. Would it? <clears throat> Why have they made it so that you can't put that over the top with the bolts in it? How fucking stupid can you get? No, I'm there now. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Right, so that... Right, the ring, there's a peg on the tool there. That hole has to line up with that, like so. And then there's, that's got to go around that way. There's a white mark on there, which whoever owns it is painted on there, lines up with the white mark there. So that goes over there. Like that. Lines up with that peg, so it's in the right place. I can now put these bolts in, because you can't put them in first and then hopefully it should start to push the ring on see them, them bolts are going through there now that's stupid isn't it look at that but they wouldn't go on before let's see yeah. and that just be fair that should just Go on there, it treats in there. Yeah. I'll even bother it, I don't know. Yeah, put that nut on there and hopefully if the thread holds, it should pull it on. If not, we want some washers over think. Um I don't know, it's destroyed right at the end. I don't know what they've done with it. It's going. That slipped then, didn't it? Yeah, the thread's gone. <coughs> Yeah, well, we have to get some washers just to keep pulling these going. Yeah. Right, well, what we have to do is tap it. No, let's get some more washers. Take that off now. Yeah. And I got yeah. some washers and just keep tightening yeah. it. Yeah. Same thing, innit? I, I was know. thinking we don't want to fuck it up, do we? Yeah. 
I have destroyed that thread. There's virtually nothing there left of it. They've cross threaded it, haven't they? That's what they've done. Oh, I don't know how you can cross thread a nut like that. Yeah, I've cross threaded it. Looking at that, that. They've, that's over tightened that is, that's what's caused that. Yeah. yeah. And they've gummed it. Once it starts to go on, there's a bit more thread there. Mm. Just tap it, Grant. Okay. Just grab a tap it. Can you buy these out separately? What's that? These. No, you have to buy the whole tool. I'll try to use a couple of shillings. Yeah, it's 80 odd quid on that, it's obvious. Is it? Yeah. Right, because the thread is gone, I'm going to have to tap this now until I get to a decent bit of thread. Pulled it almost all the way, hasn't it? Mm. There's some animals around, isn't there? So. And that is fully home, I think. I just buzz them off and have a look. Mm. Well, what you're supposed to do is use the other holes mm -hmm. to, to press against there yeah. to pull it off. Yeah, yeah. But that's all the way on now, look. So that's good enough for me. Right, so there we go. That's how not to fit the crankshaft sensor in. <laughs> okay, crankshaft mm. sensor is in. Drive plate on. And the engine is now ready to hit that. Well, as you are, fix it. Yeah, they're done, go back in. You have to push it over and that's it. Push it on the, the bottom. Kick the leg over. Kick the that's it. Well, it's a bit far away, but... Well, push it in. Okay, I know this engine has got no bloody control, but you're going to need to start lowering it down now. Right, wait a minute, go up there, I'm trying to get the torque of that bolt in the right place. Okay, so I'll lower it down there. Steering shaft isn't the right. Okay. Down. Yeah. Well, I can't see it's just very light in the face. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm we're, we're well, well on the piss. Right, okay. pull it over. Good seat. Right, lower it down. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll drop the gearbox now. Nice. Gearbox has got to come. Because you're a stud in on your engine, yeah? Yeah. It's pulling, it's like this now, alright? Right, yeah, because the gearbox is, you look at the gearbox, yeah. you look at the gearbox, there's nothing there. What was that? Yeah, that's the gearbox. Yeah, that's the gearbox. come back to send you now. Yeah. Right, lower the um, engine, Grant. Right? Way off, it's way off. 
Yeah, you're going to go that Yeah. Do you want Did I put it back down there? I think I put it back down there. Okay. Yeah. So am I getting in your way? No, no, no. I've got two bolts in here. One, two. I think there's some here anyway, somewhere. White ones will be alright, won't they? Yeah, oh, I think there's some in the, on the bench anyway. Right, that is going to conclude this one. Uh, my goal was to get the engine in and the engine is in. Alright, I've still got quite a bit to button up yet, but it is in the, in the chassis anyway. I'll just give you a quick walk around, I'll show you what we've done so far. So most of the stuff we've done is up the back here. Bell housing bolts are in. Gearbox wiring harness is rooted through and up on top of the engine. Uh, we were going to put the crossover pipe on, but then we forgot to put the shield on that goes over the fuel pipe. So we'll, they've done, we'll leave that till next time now. So time's getting on. So that'll be a uh, job for next. Uh, but yeah, coming along quite nicely. Um, should I commit myself into saying next episode it'll be running? <laughs> uh, still a fair bit to do so I'm not going to make any promises at this stage so uh, thanks for joining me on this one and I'll see you next time all the best <laughs>